Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. They criticize on the seat, doing Abraham laments, how even though people advocate for true love, but when they see it, they criticize. As I then reported yesterday, Tony and her family are still in the UK from having a little family time to work in, as Tony's latest movie, The Ghost and the Tower 2, is still showing at the cinemas in London. So it was also some days ago that the interview caller addressing the constant topic of Tony being richer than him made it to the media. For him, he does not mind whether he's richer as he's doing quite well for himself and apart from his successful movie career, he has his own businesses which are doing quite well. Following his usual form, has been going all around with his wife to the cinemas in London, being there physically and showing his support. So he also took to our official social media platform and gave updates of our talk as well as expressing a heartfelt gratitude to Kola Oli for his continuous love and support. She shared a lovely photo of herself and her husband and some words of appreciation to her husband. These two constantly give many Nigerians couple goals and they usually show their affection, constantly reminding each other that they are loved and they are adorably valued. For this movie star Tony, she once shared that we constantly hear of bad marriages and see all this on social media. So people with good marriages should also share their stories so we can all be reminded that good marriages still do exist. However, just some hours ago, she lamented that even though people say they advocate for true love, but they criticize it when they see one. This, of course, is contradictory to what they seem to be advocating for. For more recent news on Tony Abraham, please stay with us. Just two days ago, on behalf of Lagos State and Nigeria, Lagos Magazine crowned the Yoruba actress Tony Abraham as the best overall actor in the year 2021. And their words, congratulations to the Nollywood star. And their words, congratulations to the Nollywood star to Abraham. After several polls, to Abraham emerges the overall best actor in 2021. Apart from being the organic box office queen, to Abraham also steps into the movie's directing show in the year 2021 with listening ears and Agualago as debut directing movies. The actress also released a much anticipated Ghost of the Tower 2 movie, which is their second highest grossing Nollywood movie. 2021, according to Film One NG Top 10 movie list. The list also shows she featured as a lead cast in four out of ten highest grossing movies 2021. The Lagos based actor remains a source of inspiration to many youth out there and one of the most bankable celebrities in the year 2021. Also, some days ago, the movie star shared that she was warmly received at London, UK. She was at her audience cinemas. And she even said that they totally sold out the cinemas as a movie The Ghost on the Tower 2 is still currently being shown in the cinemas across the UK. Another recent news on Tony Abraham. As many people were closing for the year 2021, Tony Abraham sent out a reminder to millions of her fans home and abroad and she shared this on her official social media platform, reminding everyone to always remember that no matter what their new resolution was, people will always have something to say as they cannot please everybody. In our what study, hey guys, I know a lot of people will be listing their new year resolutions. However, I just want to drop a friendly reminder as you go into the new year. Whatever you do, do you. Do what makes you happy. Help people, support people, come through when you're needed. Go where you wanted. Do everything you want to do because at the end of the day, you will be alone in the grave. And no one will go in the grave with you. Because life is as dicey as it can get. And people will always have something to say regardless. If you're being supportive, they will say you're famsing or you're everywhere. If you do not show up, they will say you don't want to see people go. If you're invited to an event and you go, they will say you're too accessible. If you don't, you're not a good person. If you marry from a humble background, they will say you're classless and mind blue. If you marry someone rich, you'll be called a gold digger. If you marry someone you're older than, they say you just want to be in control. If you marry someone older than you, the question if truly you love this person and come up with ridiculous scenarios. If you post what you have, they say you are showing sure enough. If you don't, they call you poor. If you try to be real, they call you as a local. If you act classy, they call you fake. If you're taking care of your skin, they say you're bleaching. If you don't, they call you dirty. I start to compare you to another. If you say something on social media, they say you're talking to someone. If you don't, they call you boring. At the end of the day, just choose yourself and do you. People always talk. Learn to also let people be themselves. Stop the entitlement and stop reading menus to everything. It's really not that deep. And we can always just let people be in brief. If you want to know more about Tony Abraham, please stay with us.
Tony Abraham is a style Nigerian actress, filmmaker, producer, and an entrepreneur who began acting her in the year 2003. And she has been active ever since then. She started her career by staying in the movie to get Remember, which was produced by Bokeh Wright. Since then, she has continued to feature in the best of new movies and also ventured into movie production. Generally, she is known for her comic roles and films, especially with her self produced Blockbuster movie, Ala Kala Do That. She is also an entrepreneur who ventured into the sales of herbal products for women with infertility issues. Tony Abraham was born in Luto Emako in Aochi part of Edo State, where she began her education at Obakenzo Nojuan Primary School in Bini. Later, her father retired, and the entire family moved to Ibado, where she spent most of her early life. In Ibado, she started from Queen Staff School, then St. Anne School in Ibado, after she proceeded to Ripple Technique in Oshun State for a national diploma in business studies. She also attended Olavi Sonobaja University, I'm back to the degree in philosophy before returning to Europe Polytechnic for an HND in marketing. Even though she began acting in the year 2003, she didn't take it up professionally until between 2004 and 2005. Her motivation came from her boss, Bookie Wright. Subsequently, after featuring Bookie's movie, she began to star in other films until she rose to stardom. And as doing great in the movie industry, she started producing her own movies. The very first movie she produced, Ala Jota, she also had plans to produce Ala Jota Reloaded. And today, she's one of the biggest brands in the Nigerian movie industry. She's not relenting. She has been consistent in making a name for herself. Some of the movies she has featured in over the years include The Ghost and the Tower 2, The Therapist, The Prophetess, Fate of Alakada, J. Afi, Small Chops, Elevator Baby, Don't Get Mad, Get Even, Made in Heaven, Two Weeks in Lagos, The Millions, Casanova, Bling Lagosians, Nimbi, Damas in the Sky, The Ghost and the Tower, Seven and a Half Dates, These Guys. What just happened? A lack of that related. SOE, how can they mentally tie to London fever? Why is the strategy revolution? Celebrity marriage. Or cafes, though. What makes you think? Lost in the hair. La Nimba Balawake, a B mini, a lack of that shall affect by me. To be the Bimbo and Shadow Parties, just to mention a few of them. Apart from being a successful actor, movie producer, director, she's also an entrepreneur. And in October 2019, she officially launched the herbal medicine business. Don't hear about a subsidiary of Tony Brown Company. She was shortly after she wrote how challenging her journey was to motherhood. She is the CEO of Cops Limited by Toyin, to consider by Toyin, Plus by Toyin, and Body Talk by Toyin. She is also one of Nigeria's biggest social influences. And Kenny Ford was going to attend the estimated her net worth to be around $500,000. So she's one of the richest and the most influential actresses in Nigeria. We have come to the end of this episode where Toyin Abraham laments how, even though people advocate for true love, that's when the seeds. They criticize it. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let's on the two new things subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.